uh, severe protection, our legs to Florence, strong storm from midday to midnight today. Now it's so ye yellow code, yellow code, risk, yellow code, risk. It's kind of scary now, eh? Yeah, let's go fast. Yeah, we gotta go fast. Firenze was nice, I mean, shame that we didn't have much time in Firenze because, you know, we went to the, uh, to the critical mass, which is awesome. We had a lot of fun in critical mass. And uh, so that was mostly of the Firenze for us. So it's a city you have to come back. Let's see San Gimignano. So let's go San Gimignano! San Gimignano! It was meant to be a storm. We haven't seen a drop of water yet. But behind us looks like mantle. So you're rushing to get to San Gimignano before the rain gets to us. I think we've just done our last uphill. Hopefully now it's just downhill. But let's let's do it. Just done a very steep hill to arrive in San Gimignano here in Toscana. The sweat is on my eyes, I cannot even see it. Uh, the good thing is, the landscape is absolutely astonishing, and uh, now the, the steep hill seems to be less steep, so I can wait for Fernando a little bit. and. Uh, but man, oh, I think Tuscan is going to be like this all the way. Before the rain, you gotta arrive before the rain. Otherwise we're stuck. Apparently this rain is gonna stay for a day. I can see San Gimignano from here, which is great. It's just there. And, uh, well, let, let me show you San Gimignano. Right there, San Gimignano. At last. So I think we're gonna arrive there by 6 ish pm. We'll try to find a camping site. So you can have a shower and then you need to do some washing Otherwise you're just gonna do wild camp again We don't know, we'll check, we'll see when you arrive there And uh, tomorrow we head to Siena, we pass through Siena And then head somewhere which we don't know, just gonna cycle the furthest we can Finally, we arrived at the entrance of San Gimignano. City is way closer now, I can see it quite well from here. The way up here was, was a bit tough. I mean, we left Firenze and uh, we knew the storm was coming. You know, we showed you. So we left in a hurry and you know, it felt like Pac-Man, you know, like you're running from something because you could see the rain right behind us all the way. And then, I, uh, and then there was a moment where, like I even said to Fernando, I said, uh, well, I think uh, the, the rain's behind us. Then he looked straight ahead of us and then there was, there, was, there was another like dark cloud and you could see it was raining coming direct into us. So like we're in the middle of two storms. And then luckily we had to turn left and then uh, we escaped the rain. We're about to get there now, just waiting for Fernando. 
hopefully she'll be coming right behind me soon but uh, in the meanwhile I just stopped to enjoy the, the view I, I really hope I never forget that you know I tend to forget things I hope this view stick in my mind and I never forget it So after escaping the rain, we arrived in San Gimignano. And decided to stay here for two days actually just because of the rain. And this is the proper kind of landscape that you have in mind when you think about Tuscany. At least that's what I had before. Yeah. Uh, like a little village on top of the mountains, yeah. surrounded by these mountains. All those trees around, it's quite nice. It's awesome, yes. Um, San Gimignano is a very good day trip to Florence as well, as it is Luca, as I told you guys before. So from Flores you can do a day trip to San Gimignano and Siena or just San Gimignano as you like it. Chi, okay. tell us where you are. San Gimignano. So as we showed you guys, the itinerary that we took started with Passo della Cisa and we knew that after Cisa we would take the Via Francigena which started basically right now. Yeah, uh, this is a pilgrimage um, route that actually leads from Canterbury. Canterbury in, in, 